Hey, welcome back everyone. A topic I've been passionate about for some time now is the effect of cognitive overload on learners as well as practitioners um, of BPMN. It was during my dissertation research that I discovered how the overload of information influences the understanding of BPMN through learning or using models with customers. Cognitive overload can be a challenge when learning and applying BPMN. There's a lot of elements, a lot of information elements. And while cognitive load theory explains the relationship between our working memory and our long-term memory, new research offers a theoretical extension concerning how our brains function when building and using models or diagrams. In 2022, uh, a journal article written by Jan Mendelin and Monica Malanova, entitled Experimental Evidence on the Cognitive Effectiveness of Diagrams, they identified several research examples of the effects on cognitive processing, specifically with models and diagrams. And I thought it'd be fun to share this article and then um, some experiences that I've had um, similar to what um, they reported on. And for reference, the four cognitive processing steps of their CogniDi framework, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, are as follows. Uh, visual processing, verbal processing, semantic processing, and task processing. For today's video, I thought it would be beneficial to connect with this research by sharing something similar that I do to reduce cognitive overload as a practitioner, specifically with the visual processing stage, um, essentially the first stage uh, for processing information. So on the screen is my process model for completing chores. Something simple, hopefully everybody can connect with at some level. It's pretty basic, has some gateways, um, parallel and exclusive gateways. Like the author's experimental findings, I too like to use matching colors for gateways, particularly when working with customers for the first time. So if I switch over, to my model, I have a, a, another model here where I actually use that the color matching. Um, what you'll see is that there are different colors for the ex different exclusive um, gateways as well as the parallel gateway. I find that particularly helpful when there are several different types of gateways that are branching and merging. The authors, like the, I, I think they called it the pop-out effect, which I like that term, because I agree, I think by using color code, especially when you have a lot of gateways, I know this is a simplistic model, but even still for a new um, customer, uh, it may be a lot to follow. And so by using that other uh, for each type of gateway, um, it does create a kind of a visual pop-out. So it's easy to focus and see how things are connected if I was to try to explain this model. There are other ways to reduce cognitive um, overload as well during the visual processing stage, such as we could have matched colors with the different activities and or sequence flows um, to create a, that pop out effect and, and help um, you know, somebody follow along in the model. Uh, another great example uh, the author cited was uh, sticking, essentially, if you're gonna use BPMN, sticking with the notation, don't use different notations that, you know, for to represent gateways that may confuse a customer. What I thought would be awesome, uh, you know, as, as a researcher, you know, is if somebody is studying the effectiveness of different techniques during the different cognitive processing stages outlined in their research, I think that would be, a, that understanding that the effectiveness could go a long way in future design of training, as well as um, applying BPMN um, within your organizational projects. And lastly, um, I wanted to share a special announcement today, um, which is that we finally have our publication date for our next book. What makes this uh, second edition special is that not only did I continue sharing new findings of learning BPMN, 
But I'm also joined by Wes Almeida, who shared new learning experiences to help you understand BPMN in the context of development, engineering, and security processes by connecting business with the IT and sharing several coding examples. So I just want to say thanks um, for uh, watching the channel today and uh, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and uh, I'll see you in the next video.